But let's get to that basketball action. We start in the Western Big Six state ranks. Teams colliding, Quincy and Moline. Brock Harding bringing Moline down to town and looking good early on here. They get inside to Trey Taylor. He was really good, especially in the first half. Moline got an early lead. Then it's Moline with the great look inside. It's Harding to Taylor once again. Moline would build a lead in this one. Quincy would come back. The bucket right here kept them hanging around, but Moline too much on the transition. Check out the dunk from Owen Freeman. He had a good evening as well. More from the supporting cast. Brock Harding can't quite get it, but there's Owen Freeman's little brother, Braden Freeman, to help him out. He got that bucket as well. And then it's Welch again. This time he wouldn't be denied with the corner three. Moline continues to build that lead in a hostile environment, but we can't say enough about Trey Taylor. Playing hard inside, getting the bucket and the bump. Moline would take a lead. They build up the double figures. And while Quincy continued to try to get back in it, the Moline defense just too much. Owen Freeman with that block. And we'll show you a final score in this one as we get a few more buckets from you. Brock Harding didn't score a lot. Only had 12, but that bucket right there, a big one in transition. Moline still working hard on the glass as it's Owen Freeman getting it over to a teammate for a bucket and a foul. Great environment in Quincy, better results for Moline as they go on and get a big victory. We'll hear from Moline coming up later in the show, but the Maroons now with a two game lead in the Western Big Six. Genesee still looking for their first of the year on the road at Galesburg. Gina Williams, actually it's United Township. It's a Hall of Fame night. My sister-in-law is gonna hate me for that first shot. Yeah, you almost missed the GT shot. GT up four, JP Schilling with a three-pointer there, 10 to nine. Panthers answer with a three from Devontae Wright from the corner, it's 15 to 12. Second quarter, Sterling playing strong. Lucas Austin, he'll splash down the three with a hand right in his face, 25-22. Sterling in front, but the Golden Warriors can play on the inside. Andre Claver takes the contact, plus the foul, 28-24. Sterling in transition, nothing wrong about this shot. Devontae Wright connecting from deep, 32-31. United Township with a big home win, 74-63. They go to Moline on Tuesday for a big game at Wharton Fieldhouse. I hear they don't like each other. That's what I've heard. Oh, we'll check that out on Tuesday. Hey, more from teams that really don't like each other. Rock Island and Alleman going head to head. Battle of Rocktown early on in this one in transition off the steal. Nice play, nice bucket from Quantarian Brooks. Rocktown with an early lead. More from the home team. KJ Lamont fakes, drives, goes baseline. Pretty reverse lay in. It's a 7 0 start for the home team. Lamont sharing later as he finds Larry Oliver. He knocks down the three, lefty three from the corner. 14 2 early on. Oliver, though, looking to answer. DJ Baker. Goes in, nice pump fake. Gets the tough off balance jumper to fall. The sophomore having a good season. But this one all rock town from start to finish. Lamont with two more. Rocky wins this one. 74-35, your final score. Jenna Steele still looking for their first road win of the year down at Galesburg. Gina Williams will take this one down the court, passing to Carter Cleary. Wait for it. There it is. Nice pass. Nobody saw it coming. Cleary catches and scores. 12-3 Galesburg. Then it's Nolan Carl recovers. He will find Ian Dominic for a layup. 17 to three is the lead. Then it's Cruz Ludwig pushing his way through the guards, spinning and scoring. This one was all Galesburg. They double up on Geneseo, 66-33. To the Mac we go. Bettendorf looking for their seventh straight victory. Tough place to play though, going up to the pit. And it was Caden Wilkins. A nice start for Bettendorf getting the off balance jumper to fall for an early two point lead. North Scott firing right back. Tyler Watkins pulls up, sights, shoots, bullseye. That gave North Scott their first lead. And these two knuckleheads, Corey, tried to tell me to make them look good. I, guys, I it's, a, it's a camera, not a magician's wand. I've been trying to make you guys look good for years. More good shooting, though. Kyler Girardi with the three. We're tied at eight early. Bettendorf can fire it as well. Tatum Arguello steps back and knocks down the first of back-to-back -back threes. The lead grows to six, but check out this play in transition. North Scott on the break. Bucket doesn't go, but out of nowhere, Brendan Reed comes flying in and tips it up Ooh, and in. Nice. North Scott will show you a final. They pull away late. They end Bettendorf's win streak 54-44, your final score. Mac leader, Pleasant Valley. Running the court with Assumption. Second quarter, Spartans up eight, but Joey Funderburg from the wing for three. That'll cut it to five, 16 to 11. PB, nice little inbounds here to David Gore's line. His layup is good, we get 18, 11. 
Knight still finding the range from deep. Keaton Tissen on the corner for three, 22 to 14. And then Coy Kipper drives, kicks to Caden Rubel. He will knock down that three ball. 32-21 PV at the half. And the Spartans are your winner, 62-46. Bragging rights on the line in, in Davenport, I should say, north and west going head to head. It's off an inbounds play. West looking good. Devontae Bradford, three ball, top of the key. He drills that. A 12-4 start for the home team. North edges right back. Eli Elijah Hinton drives inside and gets it to Amari Wright, who goes in for the easy lane. That cuts down the lead, but West looking good off the inbounds. It's Elijah Reed Scott. And then Idris Thomas for two more. 19-6 at that point. Then it's Landon Winston getting to the free throw line and getting this one to go as well. A bucket makes it a 22-8 lead. We'll show you a final score. West rolls in this one. 74-61, your final score. More scores from the MAC. It's Central with a 17-point victory. Central DeWitt with a two-point road win. And we mentioned Moline winning. Let's hear from the Maroons right now. It's huge. It kind of shows where our team's at. Um, we're playing our best basketball right now, and just coming to an atmosphere like this, and um, nobody, nobody really likes you here, so it's, it's great to come in here and walk out with a dub. All right, let's get back to the action. It is Princeton and Mendota. Proudy Jim we go. Princeton adding to a big lead over Mendota in the third after the great ball movement. Tyson Phillips will get the bucket. On the layup, then that's Tegan Davis for a layup and a 28-point lead. The men in purple bounce back as Owen on ball. Hits from downtown, but Princeton is just so strong. Tegan Davis will rattle in the triple and is way back to the other side off the court. His teammates create the turnover. Brady Thompson turns it into points. Checking the final, Princeton back on track with a 76-48 win. Newman taking on Hall as we check out if Dan Pearson thinks these guys should go to FCA camp, we need two. I agree. Idea. Yeah. Red Devils, Mac Resetich with the three, and it's a two-point lead over Newman. Later on, Comet's getting it rolling as Lucas Simpson gets inside, uses the glass. Newman takes the lead when Nolan Britt drives hard to the hoop for the bucket and the finish. Comet's strong on the offensive glass. Check out the athletic play by Simpson and the bucket right there. Hall will try to rally Resetich. Freshly signed to play football with the Illini, gets aggressive here for two, but it's Newman coming away with a 52-41 victory. To the Three Rivers, or we stay in the Three Rivers, Orion and Riverdale looking to build some momentum with the postseason right around the corner. It is Lucas Argus Larkius with the three-pointer to give Orion a two-point lead. Later on, Jacob Watson driving, getting the bucket to go inside. That Orion lead turns into a one-point Rams lead. Then it's Jake Willems going the other way for the bucket. 26-21 at that point. Uh, Orion would try to keep it close. Larkius with the bucket right here, but we'll show you a final. Riverdale getting back on track with a road victory, 63-59. Sure are looking to continue its winning ways as they host Erie Prophetstown. Second quarter in this one is Holland Anderson with the jumper that rattles in, 19-8 EP. More from Holland Anderson. Finding some more space, creating, driving, runner, good, 19-13 EP. Caleb Nafsker going off the window for a bucket to extend that lead to 24-15. And then it's Sherrard's Carter Brown pushing up the court. Nobody's going to pick him up, slicing through the Just defense. Freshman. 24-17 at that point. This one would go to double overtime. Sherrard with a win, 62-59. Happy news, director. Happy life. That's what I say. The LTC tournament will conclude tomorrow. Anna Juan and Weathersfield looking to get in that fifth place game. It is Aiden early with the past two. Mason Heitzler for the bucket and the three. Weathersfield up by three. Dylan Horry will answer back. The nice dish to Arthur Pratt gives so gets the lead back down to one. Then it's Landon Sawyer to Horry for three more. It's a lead for the Braves. And then it is Andrew Torres at the other end getting this one to go. We'll show you a final score. Anawan moving on with a 64-57 victory. Some more scores. It is United falling to A-Town, West Central, and Ridgewood. That one goes the way 
of Ridgewood by 12. It's Princeville all over Galva. More scores from the Illinois side. It is Monmouth Roseville, 12 better than Morrison. Kiwani and Bureau Valley, that's a two-point game towards Bureau Valley.